Around a month ago, I uploaded this video titled Connor Zilich, America's Next Big Racing Star. And within that video, I highlighted his ARCA debut at Watkins Glen in 2023 as one of Connor's standout drives. Now, if you remember correctly, Connor had a car problem that allowed the two drivers in second and third behind him to catch up. In second was Jesse Love, the 19 year old that dominated the Arca Menard series that year, winning the championship with 10 wins on the season. That impressive season was rewarded with a full time seat in the NASCAR Xfinity series with Richard Childress Racing. The race leader, Connor Zilich, is just 17, and second place Jesse Love is just 19. However, it gets even crazier because the driver in third is a driver who, just like Connor, was making his Arca Menards debut. His name is Brent Cruz. Brent Cruz is 15 years old, at least as of me writing this script, and he was 15 at the time of the race. Now, a 15 year old was engaged in a fight for the win in his very first Arca Menard start on a road course and bagged a third place finish. Now, keep in mind, 15 year olds winning in Arca isn't really that new of a phenomenon. Jesse Love became the youngest championship winner in NASCAR sanctioned history when he won the Arca West Championship in 2020. But the reason we're gonna highlight Cruz is because similar to Connor, He's a bit of an all-rounder, which is very insane for his age. Jesse Love won a NASCAR championship at 15 years old. However, Brent Cruz also won a championship at 15 years old. But it wasn't a NASCAR championship, it was a Trans Am championship. In 2022, Brent Cruz became the youngest ever winner in the TA2 division at just 14 years old after winning at Road America, and he'd actually win two more races that year at Nashville and Virginia. 2023 would be the year that Cruz would chase the championship, and he would win it with four wins on the season to become TA2 champ over guys like Thomas Merrill and Rafa Matos. Cruz was clearly a road racing prodigy, but what makes him so good is his versatility, because he doesn't just race on asphalt, he also races on dirt. Brent grew up racing outlaw midgets at his local dirt track before eventually climbing up the ranks and competing at big dirt events like the Chili Bowl. That dirt racing experience is what allowed him to win in just his second ever ARCA start. Yes, that's correct. Two days after finishing third at Watkins Glen, the race I referenced at the start of this vid, Brent raced at the Illinois State Fairgrounds at the Springfield Dirt Track on the ARCA schedule. He completely dominated the race and took home his very first ARCA Menards win in just his second start. Needless to say, Brent at his young age has proven himself to be quite the killer, and it's obvious the higher ups are looking at him, yeah? Cruz is signed to Toyota as part of their driver development program, and he's also a part of Kevin Harvick's late model team, Kevin Harvick Incorporated, where he drives the number 29 car in the Cars Tour's late model stock division. He's also driven cars with Trackhouse logos on them in the past, in both TA2 and the Chili Bowl, so it's safe to say Justin Marks is aware of his talent as well. Brent Cruz might be him. One should probably expect to see him make his truck series debut later this year, maybe for Tricon due to his Toyota ties. It'll also probably be at a road course seeing that those are his bread and butter thanks to Trans Am. But keep your eye on him, yes? He's one of the many young talents in America that may very well be not just the future of NASCAR, but the future of American motorsport.